In this short recording, we're going to see how McAfee EPO integrates with Fox T server control. This integration leverages an existing McAfee EPO infrastructure to deploy the Fox T server control uh, agent to the servers. The Fox T server control extension is installed in EPO, and it's then easy to create a deployment task within EPO to deploy the Fox T server control agent. We need to start off with installing the Fox T. Um, software extension. With an EPO, go into extensions and install extension. Browse for the uh, FoxT um, extension zip file downloaded locally to this system. Select that, choose to open it, and click OK. We'll see here in the uh, summary that it's the 662 version of the FoxT extension and uh, the FoxT extension will show up uh, right now under the unsigned section. It will uh, be signed by McAfee uh, as we go along with the certification process here. Then it's time to install the actual software packages. So under software and uh, master repository. We um, can install three different packages. We have the Windows, um, Linux, and the Solaris packages. Uh, in this demo, we are um, going to start with the Windows package. Browse the zip file, hit open, and um, that installs the Windows package. Just select the defaults. I'm going to install this to the current branch. Just for the sake of demo, let's also check in the package for, uh, for um, Red Hat. So we'll browse to the Linux package, hit next. Also install this to the defaults, and as you can see, this is for Red Hat Linux. We'll hit save, and we have both um, server agent packages for Windows and for Red Hat Linux uh, ready to be deployed. Now it's time to create um, Deployment task. So we go into policy and client task catalog. Create a new deployment, a product deployment task. And uh, just name this Deploy Fox T server agent. And we'll start with doing this for Windows only. So select the, the Windows package from the drop down list here. We're going to install it. Um, the rest of the defaults are fine, but we want the minus I for the command line um, parameter. Once we have the deployment package, we need to also um, create um, an assignment for this. So client task assignment. And um, go to action, new client task assignment. We'll find our product deployment, our task, Foxy server agent deployment. We'll push this out to all systems. Hit next. And I'm going to, for demo purposes, just do this as a run immediately. And it's going to be enabled. So we schedule this to execute immediately. Um, summary and we hit save to to save this and if we now switch to uh, a client that is already set up you can see in the log here if I check for new policies it's gonna uh, connect to the EPL server as we can see in the list here it's added a new task for deploying Fox T server agent 
and it's downloading the package. We can see there that it's downloading the, the box client for Windows and uh, uh, pulling that down from the EP server and executing the installation of the Foxy server agent for Windows in, in the background.